you can see that Comet 3i Atlas looks like a fuzzy white ball. That ball is a cloud of dust and ice called the coma, which is shed by the comet as it continues its trajectory towards the sun. We're here today to give you the latest of what we know about Comet 3i Atlas and what we still want to know. But first, what is a comet? It's a small, natural, solid body that is a combination of rocky and icy material that evaporates as it gets warm as it warms when it's close to a star like the sun. But to start with, I'd like to address the rumors right at the beginning. I think it's important that we, we talk about that. This object is a comet. It looks and behaves like a comet and has and all evidence points to it being a comet. But this came from outside the solar system, which makes it fascinating, exciting, and scientifically very important. And not too long after that, in July, um, it looked at 3i Atlas, not long after we discovered it from the ground. 3i Atlas, as you heard, is the third known interstellar object to pass through our solar system, the first one being identified in 2017. While these types of interstellar objects have long been predicted, we are just beginning to be able to find them thanks to the newest technologies with our network of Earth-based telescopes, which are designed to find small, fast-moving objects in space. Of individual exposures that were taken on September 16th. Lucy is on its way to study asteroids that shared Jupiter's orbit around the Sun, called the Trojan Asteroids. Lucy was 240 million miles away from 3i Atlas, which is circled in the center, when its high-resolution LaLaurie camera caught the comet. You right away, of course, NASA's Planetary Defense Coordination Office established, they studied it, and they established that 3i Atlas is not a danger to Earth. You're seeing emission from hydrogen gas in the atmosphere of Mars. Uh, in the middle, there's a fainter band uh, indicating that's coming from uh, hydrogen gas in interplanetary space. And on the left, that blob is the signature of hydrogen gas coming from comet 3i Atlas. It's so the NASA assets that are gathering observations of 3i Atlas include Hubble, the James Webb Space Telescope, TESS, SWIFT, SPHEREX, Perseverance Mars Rover, Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter, MAVEN, Europa Clipper, Lucy, Psyche, personal favorite, Parker Solar Probe, PUNCH, STEREO, and ESA, NASA's SOHO mission. And I'll note that Parker Solar Probe's data were just downloaded yesterday, and indeed, we did catch several glimpses of this amazing comet. Some of the first things to look at the comet. And there is circumstantial evidence, given how fast it has come in to, uh, to our solar system, that uh, it came from some very old population, some solar system uh, around a very old star. Quite possibly, we can't say this for sure, but the likelihood is uh, it came from a solar system older than our own solar system itself, which uh, gives me goosebumps to think about, frankly, because that means the 3i Atlas is not just a window into another solar system, it's a window into the deep past, and so deep in the past that it predates even the formation of our Earth and our Sun. We were quick to be able to say, yep, it definitely behaves like a comet. We certainly haven't seen any, any techno signatures or anything from it that would lead us to believe it was anything other than a comet. But the super cool thing is not that it's exactly like all the comets that we see in our solar system, it's the differences that are so tantalizing for us as we, we and I, you know, it gives me goosebumps too. It's, it could be from something that existed before our own solar system. That is so cool. Which tells us, uh, which has been discovered over the last. As comets evaporate, they are blowing off gas, they are blowing off dust, and everything, every time something gets pushed off the comet, that acts like a little rocket engine at that moment and pushes in the other direction. And so it's very, very common to see comets uh, have uh, subtle changes in their orbits as a result of these little rocket forces just called non-gravitational accelerations. So this is being monitored very closely. I spoke to our uh, orbit determination team of the Jet Propulsion Laboratory earlier this week, and what they said is that this is being monitored. monitored. There are some uh, uh, changes to the orbit, but the uh, uncertainties are, are still fairly large. It's difficult because we can't see the nucleus directly. It's difficult to get a very, very precise track on exactly where it's going. But so far, the non-gravitational accelerations have been very much on par with the sort that we see in solar system comets. 
the James Webb Space Telescope will actually be able to track it le- longer than anyone else, partly because it's of its ability to kind of look long and deep rather than sort of across and wide. fighting so long and so hard that they don't know what the f- they're doing. <laughs>